Okay, this is an example of creating a PILTS relay. Um, so I've just gone on to the PILTS website. You can see most electronic devices such as safety relays are just uh, rectangles with obviously a series of connections. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 connections across the top, 4 connections across the bottom. Um, yes, you can pretty your symbol up and make it aesthetically pleasing and uh, basically draw the uh, graphics that are shown within the data sheet on PILT's website. So what we're going to do is just copy this basically this, this graphic, so it's a rectangle. You can see here if we've got a pitch of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, if we've got 12 connections we're going to need at least, um, it depends if, how, if we do it on a 10 mil pitch, uh, if we're doing it on a 10 mil pitch we'll need at least 130 millimeters long. Okay. So I'm just going to go to home and we'll select rectangle. Just put uh, snap on and we'll specify the snap at about 10 mil will be fine. I'm just going to draw from 0, 0 and we'll do this at 130. Hundred thirty comma thirty. Yes, you can put all the graphics inside, uh, but to be honest, um, I'm not interested in those. So now all I've done, all I'm going to do now is use the symbol builder. Uh, we can select the object, the base point of insertion, and um, that should always be the first connection point. So I'm just going to change the snap to five millimeters. So the first connection point is going to be there, in other words, A1. Um, it is a vertical parent because the connections are coming vertically. Um, we could define it actually as a control relay. It could also be defined as a protection item, so it could go under the circuit breaker. These are only the attribute definitions, though. So I'm going to put uh, all the attribute positions, should we say. Just say OK. Takes symbol into the block editor. These are the, uh, the attributes. Um, if you don't want K on the device tag, I mean, some people prefer ESR as an example for an emergency stop relay. Um, and we're going to insert all of the required attributes round about here. Doesn't matter if the attributes overlap one another. Um, we'll then choose a series of connections. Now, I can insert them one at a time by going left, top, bottom, right, whichever the the angle of the insertion of the connection point is, or you can type others. So in this instance I can say, well I'd like 12 connections, um, I'd like the column offset to be 10 millimeters, and it's a top connection. I can even define um, a description as well, so the example of that is if we just open up the, um, the view here, um, A1, A2 is actually the supply, so if this was 110 volt, it might say 110 volt here, not volt here as an example. But in this instance, I'm just going to delete the descriptions. Okay, and the connections, as we said, are going to be A1. In fact, we'll just um, move that to the side. So A1, A2, S11, S12, S21, S22, S31, S32, S33, S34, and 33, and then I can just say insert, and we can place those down all in one hit. Right click, uh, I could repeat the command, but in this case I can just go back to others again, it doesn't make any difference. 
Uh, this time we'll have four connections, but I'm going to select on screen where each one of them are inserted this time because they're not inserted at the same place. Um, the connections here, Y11, Y12. Twenty-four and thirty-four. Now Y eleven is positioned under S eleven, so the third connection, and those two are positioned over there. So we'll just say insert. So the first one is going to be positioned Just to make sure I'm lining up, just there. Second one, just there. The third one, just there. And the fourth one, just there. Okay. I'm not happy about the attribute positions. That's fine. Just highlight them all. And if we go to Modify, Properties. On those attributes. I'm going to make them left justified and move them up by one millimeter. Similarly, all of these attributes I'm going to move them down by one millimeter. Of course you can rotate them round. Um, yes, I can make the graphics um, look prettier inside the box. I'm just going to stretch as well the box inside. We've done it 10 mil too far, so I can move that in by at least 10. And that's your symbol finished. That's your emergency stop really. So close this down. Close the block editor. It is a vertical, we'll define it as a control relay. Uh, it's a parent, which is why the first four characters, so vertical is V, H for horizontal, CR for control relay, that looks in the parts database for, for control relays, which are the pilts are in that section. One for a parent, two for a child, whatever you want to call it thereafter, entirely up to you. Obviously you can create an icon image, which will means it goes into the library. We want to W block it, so it saves it into the uh, the library as well. I'll say OK. And we can try it out. So I just move it, put it in a blank space. Notice it's automatically numbered. You can give it a description. It's coming with all the pin numbers. And those are all the connections.